In this video, we're going to look at the way different time measurements relate to one another. The shortest amount of time that we usually use in life is the second. Now, one second is something that happens very quickly. It could be, um, for example, if you throw um, the baseball from you to your friend who's standing pretty close to you. That would take about one second. Or if you jump over a puddle from the time you jump to the time you land, that takes about one second. Now, in order to get from seconds to minutes, we need at least 60. 60 seconds is going to be equal to one minute. And now we're at minutes. And when we think about minutes, we could think about the amount of time um, it takes to maybe to brush your teeth. If you brush your teeth pretty quickly, the dentist always says to take two minutes. But most of the time, it takes about a minute uh, to brush your teeth. Um, that's about the amount of time that one minute is. In order to go from minutes to hours, you need, again, 60 minutes. 60 minutes is equal to one hour. And then when you have one hour, which is about the length of a pretty long TV show or a short movie, one hour, um, after one hour, what we do is we go to days. And in one day, there are a total of 24 hours. So here we can see that minutes are the, or seconds are the very smallest. In order to go from seconds to a minute, you need 60 seconds to equal one minute. 60 minutes will equal one hour, and 24 hours, oops, I should have an S there, will equal one day. That's how time relates to uh, the different measurements.